I didn't think you would already be here. Hey, Laura. Did you finish taking care of things then? I believe so. It truly does feel strange to be back here, though. It's been a long road to return here, and yet, return we did. This building holds so many memories for us. I couldn't even begin to count. It sure does. Well, while we're here, you want to walk around inside for a bit? I'm curious how things are upstairs, too. Sure, I'd like that. but there was just a little voice in my head going, what if, while walking around. I can hardly blame you. I felt the same. Instead, he's another obstacle we have to overcome. One of many. Yeah. Still, we've been able to face every challenge that's come our way up till now. Why wouldn't our fight to bring Crow home be the same? <laughs> that's a good way to look at it. Nothing stands a chance at declaring victory over Class Seven's combined might. Or our two swords. Speaking of, Reen, I realize I've asked this once before, but do you like the path of the sword? <laughs> Hearing that brings back memories. You really caught me off guard when you asked me that back in Keldic. Any reason it's on your mind again? <laughs> I was just curious. It feels as though after our impending battle... Things will never be the same. And so before that happened, I wanted to hear your answer one more time. For all I know, that answer's changed. Ah, oh, right. Well, it hasn't. My answer's exactly the same now as it was then. Swordsmanship is like a part of me. It's always been there. And it always will be. It's not a case of liking it or not. It's just part of who I am. Both my swordsmanship and my sword are me in a way. Maybe you'll be happy to know that my feelings on the subject haven't changed either. My stance and my resolve are the same as they ever were. I stake my pride, my soul, my very being on my blade, and wield it to attain ever greater heights. That is what it means to me. Why I value it above all else. Or, so I say, I'm conflicted to tell you the truth. Conflicted? About what? In both my time at the Academy and during these past few weeks of fighting alongside one another, I seem to have found something else just as precious to me. Are you suggesting... I've now discovered a new reason to fight. One that differs from the reason I fought for all this time. And that reason gives me more courage and power than I've ever felt before. Never could I have imagined there would be anything that would mean as much to me as my path of the sword. At least, not until I met you. Laura? Reen, I... I think I love you. At first, we were just friends, but now I see you as something far more. That's why I need to know. Do you... Feel the same way about me too. <laughs> I wanted to be the one to say it first, but it looks like you beat me to it. I always figured that as a man, it'd end up being my job. S sorry, that was presumptuous of me. I'm simply not used to these sort of things. No, don't worry. You've got nothing to apologize for. I've always admired you ever since our first day here. Your swordsmanship is so elegant, strong, and beautiful that I couldn't help but be captivated by it. And by you. 
You're as strong as you are reliable, but that feminine side you show from time to time is adorable too. I'm always happy to be part of our class, but having a place where the two of us can better ourselves makes me happiest of all. Truly? I love you too, Laura. Even after we graduate, I want to keep walking alongside you, following the path of the sword. And I hope that we one day reach those heights we're aiming for, but together. <laughs> I'm glad I finally got the chance to say it. on fire from blushing so much. <laughs> I feel the same way, you know. We've got no way of knowing what the future holds in store for us. But we can't let a war like this stand in our path. Like you said, we have a lot of obstacles to overcome. And by overcoming ours, we'll prove we're capable of so much more. <laughs> yeah. We will. May we both wear the way of the sword proudly, and together protect our friends and our future.